propane tank full. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Ah, that's going on the gas grill for sure. Steaks for dinner tonight. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So we are on the Kankakee River here this morning, and Scooter's here. Aren't you, Scooter? Yeah. Yep, Scooter's here. George is here somewhere. But the uh, reason we're here is uh, we got some more uh, logs to get out. So as you can see, we got to get all this mess out of here. So I'm going to hand the camera off to Scooter, and he can video. And then uh, once we get these out, we got to get down there and get that out and we need to go down and see what's on the other side of that bridge it looks like there's something down there we need to go get and then we got uh two obstructions over here we need to check out you can see they're making little wakes in the water i don't know if they're stumps or if they're just chunks of treetops or what they are so i had a viewer ask in the comments um who we do this for exactly and we do it for the river board that oversees the Kankakee River and the Yellow River and uh yes we are trained for certain things on projects like this we are trained in everything from wetlands to what to do if a bald eagle is present so if bald eagle is present we can't work within a certain distance of it uh, we have to stay away from it so um and then the wetlands we have to be careful uh, some of them we cannot cross, some of them we can go around, things like that. So we do sit in seminars over the winter and we learn about these things. Uh, we do have to get permits for certain things. Um, and there's a few other things we got to do also. But uh, it's not just one of them deals where you just start doing this. There is a lot involved with it. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So... Uh, we kind of make it look easy on video, but there's a lot more to it than just what you see us doing. So, all right, let's get started.
take. Now, if you ever ask me if the long reach would work better for this uh, long removal, and uh, in some cases it would, but in this situation, getting in and out of some of these places, trying to get 60 foot of boom and stick through, can be a bear. I have run a lot of long reaches, and they have their limitations. Uh, you also got to remember that a long reach is usually a 65,000 to 70,000 pound machine, and the base of the machine is a big, heavy excavator. But when you get out to the end of the stick on a long reach, they're down to like a 160 size excavator. So you got to be careful you twist and pull because all that H linkage, bucket pins, and all that stuff is real small out there. And that boom and stick is like a, a 60 foot long pry bar on all that. There's a lot of leverage there, so you got to be careful. You'll tear them up. So you just got to be super careful with them when you're doing stuff like this. Where with a standard reach boom and stick, they're tough. You know, you, you pull and twist on long stuff you're not going to hurt them so it, it's kind of kind of just a thing to just use a normal excavator for this um, it just works best it seems like yeah there's a lot of instances where it would be nice to have the extra reach but uh, you just lose a lot of power with the long reach is the thing This is just mosquito heaven out here. We're gonna run down and grab that tree real quick. And then we'll come back and we'll throw everything that we got out from under the bridge over to the side here. Be careful where we're going here. Uh, this is not a very wide levee through here. It's fairly wide, but it's, it's narrow at the same time. Thank you. 
So I have to wash out the bridge piers and pilings and things like that. They really don't want you to put like grapples or anything on them. It's almost one of them deals where you have to own it yourself.
last one all cleaned up, finished up. Now we moved on to our next one, which this next one is going to be a challenge to get to because we have to go down the levee along the Kinky River to get to it. And this levee is not as nice as the other ones. So this one's going to be a battle with the 220 to get to where we need to go. I'll have to move some brush out of my way as I go. We're going to get the pontoon set in. We've got a nice spot down here we can go in through a horse pasture and we can set the pontoon in the water. Because George will have to go out there, him and Scooter will have to go out and cut this tree off. It is across the river right now. And then there, there's no good way of getting to the side that the stump is attached to. So we have to work everything from this east side. So this one's going to be a fun one. Alright, we're going to get our boat. Set you down a little bit. So we're not so high. scary but hey we made it now the boat will run
It's just traveled by side by sides and the occasional golf cart. Don't really bring, you know, pickups and stuff down them all that much. And then when we have to haul material, it's usually either track type haul trucks or, or uh, articulated haul trucks is what we use. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch. Bees 
stings are no fun. I like to carry Benadryl with me just in case. Should probably get an EpiPen and throw it, throw in something to have it around in case of a allergic reaction or something. But all right, we'll get down here, George, and see what we're gonna do. We made it down to the tree that we're after. As you can see, it's right there. It's still attached on the other side. So I gotta get my hook out of the toolbox and we'll get it hooked up to the rope and we'll pull on it and see if we can't break it off. It'd be nice if we can break it off, then we don't have to get up on the other side and saw it off. But we'll see what we can do. Well, George is gonna get us hooked up here. George got up on the other side and got it cut off the stump. So they're gonna re-rig it and I'm gonna try again. I got a phone call from Dave at Harding's Heavy Equipment, our Hyundai dealer. I was talking to him and I was, you know, 50, 60 feet away from the 220 and a couple of honeybees started swarming me and I took off running. Whew. I got back in the cab of this hoe as quick as I could. I'm not getting stung today. You know, they say, run like your ass depends on it. I was running like that. I didn't skip a beat. Jumped up on the track, opened the door, and got in. Made sure they weren't anywhere near me, and got in. I hate these things. I used to get stung when I was little. I used to go out in the backyard and uh, stick my fingers up in the hitch ball hitch on the trailer I don't know why I'd do it but I would do it and there would be wasps up in there and I'd get stung done that two or three times when I was a little kid oh George found him a gas grill tank I see it behind him wonder if uh, Madison can get that refilled at uh, American welding gas supply where she works Now we got a short rope. Careful. Steady she goes. George and his first mate, Scooter. Scooter, you're running out of pontoon boat there, buddy. Alright, let these guys get out of the way and do some pulling on it and see what we got. I don't want to fall off the levee here. There it goes. Oh, 
slipped off the back of the bucket. If I can just get it to where I can grab it, we'll have it. slow. It's coming over here. Let's see if I can grab a treetop maybe. done a pretty good job of sweeping everything over here as it came. I was looking for. 
that other one's just a little chunk, that'll be all right. Scooter's got him on. Bringing it to me. grab it and jerk scooter right off the pontoon with it. I'll bring it to you, scooter. There you go. That's service right there. Service with a smile. Service with a scooter. finish cleaning up these crumbs and then head back to the trailer and I think that's gonna be it for today well wait a second I got one more guess I didn't notice it over there Old Captain George is gonna bring her across with the poon dozer it's like having a dozer with a winch on it See if he gets it Quite enough momentum. Watch him jerk it and throw a uh, throw a scooter right off front. Well, they're gonna bring it to me. I don't think Sweetwater pontoons ever intended this pontoon to do what we've been doing with it. <laughs> think they actually intended to build a working class pontoon. I think they were uh, just after uh, leisure time activity with it. So we got everything cleaned up. We're going to head back up to the trailer. We're going to get George out of there and we'll get out of here for the day. Got to go back past the honeybees. Scooter said he's going to follow me. I told him he better be going fast when he goes past the bees. George gets over there, I'll get him out. All right, George, ready to get out? Tippy. Be alright though. 
least the pontoon's not heavy. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Hang on. So it's gonna be a little bit tippy. Oh, wrong way. You want me to? Yeah, I'll do that. to thumb down a little bit. We're going to be going downhill so it might get a little rough. Try my best. Easy. She goes. be so smooth with steel tracks. I think we're pretty close. Towards the front a little bit. Right there.